host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this show off the same way we start every show off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, so the fact that you're spending with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with it. she caught me, loves? You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. All right, we are back. Today's going to be a great episode because this gentleman was very excited to reach out and come. I met him on the golf course last week. I'm, and he was a cool guy to just sit and chat with for the few moments I did. So as per usual, I don't know the guests that are here. However, this guy's energy I just love. So I'm excited to have him here. As you know, I don't introduce my guests. I let them do that themselves. So on that note, sir, can you please introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are? Uh, I'm Kurt Thiessen, uh, just a local of uh, Fort McMurray, I guess. Been here most of my life. Uh, I run a Facebook group called the Fort McMurray Golfers Association. Uh, match play tournament with golf in town. I guess I'm just a all around golf enthusiast. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Very cool. So, like, I know you got your phone out. You have certain things you want to get off before I start asking you questions right off the bat. So I'm gonna yeah. let you just run the mic. What okay. exactly do you want I to got get a, off your chest? Just a bunch of random things I'm gonna spew off here. Uh. Start off by saying uh, Miskinaw's course record is held by uh, Ryan Kosh with a new design of a uh, score of 64. Uh, we had a uh, record-setting men's night, our first men's night of this season at Miskinaw with 144 golfers, which was a humongous turnout. And uh, good to see after everything with COVID and everything, people are starting to come back out. Uh, I was going to talk for a minute about uh, disc golf. So uh, my disc golf contact is Todd DuPont. He's on Facebook. Uh, there's a, another guy, his friend runs a Wood Buffalo Dot Disc Golf Association. We have three disc golf courses in town, Rotary, Lions Park, and Vista Ridge. Uh, they have a league's, <coughs> league night on, uh, Thursdays at 6.30. It's ran by the association, and, uh, you can actually buy discs at the gift shop in Heritage Park, where they have, uh, also have the nets, so that I did not know. Kind of cool to go try that out. I've never tried it myself, but it's on my agenda of things to do. Uh, besides that, I was going to talk, uh, we'll go on attorneys a little bit. Um, Sickwood has their men's open upcoming in the next two weeks. Uh, they also have an RBC scramble, which is the best ball for four year buddies. If you do well there, you can go to provincials in the mountains. And if you do well there, you can go to Cape Breton. And I think uh, I think they fly you there and everything. So uh, a team from Fort McMurray with uh, Keith McGrath and them won it a couple of years back. Uh, I also run a match play myself. That's grown to 64 people this year. So I'll be looking to grow that again, uh, maybe to 128 next year. That's taking place at Miskinaw and at uh, Fort McMurray Golf Club. I'd like to get some more people from Rotary in on that as well. Uh I'd like to mention the uh, Justin Slade Youth Foundation Golf Tournament that happens in August at Miskinaw. Uh, they haven't been able to put on the tournament due to COVID the last uh, year. So I'd like to put a shout out to them. Um, uh, besides that, we have four different golf courses in Fort McMurray. Vista Ridge, a uh, good family course, big cups. Uh, it's a 12 hole facility, kind of, I think they're shorter holes maybe. Um, Great place to take the family if they're just learning, anybody beginner, and even for seasoned veterans just to have some fun. Uh, Rotary Park, they're getting 18 holes as, as of next year. That sh should be done, the construction. Uh, you got Miskinaz back up and running to its full uh, glory of 18 holes. Uh, that just got redesigned, and they just pumped a bunch of money into that, including the most expensive golf hole in Canada, hole number six, our island green. Uh, Fort McMurray Golf Club is back up to 27 holes with their, uh, their original 18 just opening back up. Uh, it's in great shape. I was there on Friday. I could not believe the, uh, the shape of the greens and just the entire shape of that whole golf course was very nice. Um, moving on, I wanted to talk about the Miskinaw staff. Give them a quick shout out. Uh, Chris McKenzie, I can't say enough about his tournament organizing. Uh, just his work around the clubhouse. Uh, ben Matthews, I wanted to talk about him for a quick minute. There was a uh, incident at our at Miskinaw uh, about a month ago. There was a fella who had a bit of a heart issue on hole 16 along the river. Very scary situation. Uh, they closed the course down, and uh, Ben Matthews came and uh, 
he's got uh, some medical training. I think he's a paramedic, maybe. He's got some training for that anyway. So, of course, came out and really handled that situation. Um, not enough can be said about Ben Matthews that day, the way he handled it. Um, besides that, I also want to talk about uh, Robert Glanville down at the Fort McMurray Golf Club. He runs the uh, Robert Glanville Golf Academy. He uh, He's the most committed uh, pro in Fort McMurray, without a doubt, no questions asked. Uh, I worked with him at Boucher, and uh, he gave up Boucher. He went and took a loan, bought himself a $30,000 track man, and just has committed his entire life to uh, teaching golf, which really amazes me. He's, uh, I'd recommend him if anybody asks me about lessons. Robert Glanville is always the first guy that comes to my mind. Uh, talk about some of our sponsors. Uh, Legacy Dodge, Creative Doors, United Rentals, Norrell Toyota, all... Uh, Sponsoring our men's night down at Miskinaw. Uh, juniors, very important. Uh, the whole golf community takes the, I guess they hold the juniors above everybody else, including themselves. So uh, here's a couple stats. 80 sets of Callaway clubs given away to Indigenous youth in uh, Fort McMurray by Miskinaw in 2015. 29 sets of Callaway golf clubs given to participants of the Junior Golf Club in 2019. 74 free junior golf memberships awarded to participate in 2020, 10,000 plus kids taught in our junior program, 5,000 plus kids taught through the weekly golf program. Uh, we got a PGA nomination for junior leader of the year. Um, all right, where are we? Okay, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of the guys that, uh, and these are just a few, there's tons. Um, I'm not very prepared, but Ken Strong, Don Adams, Mike Brown, Chris McKenzie, Robert Glanville, and Jason Vaughn. I always see them out with the juniors constantly. Um, so that's good to see. Um, uh, Fort McMurray Golf Club has the new nine holes, the Foxtail. And nobody's tried that. That's a very unique uh, experience. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit about how golf is changing. It's much more relaxed out there now for anybody who's not doing it a lot. You know, everybody's listening to music. Uh, there's... Lots of funny outfits out there. Things are a lot more laid back than what they once were. Uh, there's a huge golf community. Uh, like I run the Fort McMurray Golfers Association, so there's no shortage of people to golf with ever. If you're ever looking for somebody to golf with, it's as easy as jumping on the Fort McMurray Golfers Association and saying, you know, it's Tuesday. I want to golf around 2 o'clock. Anybody want to come with me? And you usually I'll have a couple, couple takers. Uh... The golf courses do a ton for charity. I mentioned the Justin Slade Youth Foundation. Uh, just every every day it seems like we're doing something new for a different charity. Yeah, so, man. Great to see uh, all that stuff with the juniors and the charities and everything, the golf community giving back. And uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I just had to mention uh, Saturday night at Miskaha we had a uh, – Pro Amateur Golf Tournament, and Miskinaw just pulled out all the stops for that one. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. We had uh, we had uh, the long drive world champion, two-time world long drive champion, uh, Jamie Sadlowski, come up uh, for it. And along with, uh, I think, 19 other pros, we had about 20 pros up here, 20 teams. And uh, so it was a two-day Stableford matchup. It was, uh, it was a handicap match, so anybody of any skill level could have joined and Came out and have fun with us and competed. Um, so after the round Saturday, they took us uh, over to the Legacy Dodge Field, the baseball stadium. They had a mat set up at home plate, and we hit uh, closest to the pin contest out into the center field, uh, which was just absolutely amazing to be kind of playing golf in the baseball stadium. Uh, if that wasn't enough, we had uh, the food truck up in the bleachers. We had some great food, some lobster and everything, and... Uh, and Chris McKenzie had told me earlier in the day that he had a huge surprise for the horse race. And uh, he told me he had a live horse. And I probably should have believed him when Chris McKenzie says he has something special planned. And uh, so he, I was just blown away when a horse came out onto uh, the football field and led us all off to the first tee box, following behind it in the golf carts for the horse race. Which, uh, if anybody doesn't know what a horse race is, the... Uh, the people who do the best in the tournament and the people who do the worst get paired up in twosomes. We all go out to the first tee box. We end up with about 
50 people on the first tee box, all in uh, a big horseshoe shape, standing around the uh, guy about to tee off, and everybody's quiet on the tee, quiet on the tee, until the guy gets ready in his backswing, and everyone starts yelling and screaming and throwing beer cans at him. And That's awesome. It turns into quite the time, yeah. No doubt. And, uh, and, it's, and it's for money, so we're all... Uh, Trying to play well at the same time this is going on. That's right. And it's it's the most fun you can have golfing. And I I can't say enough about the uh, the event on the weekend there at Miskina. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, we also had a, there was a great tournament, uh, Thickwood on Friday. They're happening all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, they raised a lot of money for the juniors. That's the one at uh, Thickwood on Friday. I know they did a, a dunk tank, which I myself got into for the good of the juniors. I raised 500 bucks myself. And... Uh, I think they raised close to 2000 or somewhere around there, the the other fellow who got dunked. So That's awesome. Always something going on with the yeah. uh, whole golf world. Yeah, no so doubt. that's about all I had. Well, I'm going to get you. Uh, that's a lot of information. Yeah. That's good information to get out there, man. So I'm glad you took your notes because yep. there's no way I think anybody could remember all of those <laughs> stats and all those events taking place. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, a lot. So now when it comes to golf and yourself, like obviously you're very passionate about this. Yep. Um, you're not connected in any way, shape, or form to any golf uh, club here in town. You golf them all. You promote them all, obviously, from what you just ran out. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, been a member at Miskinoff for about 10 years. Yeah. Um, I started golfing there 10 years ago. I got into a uh, golf tournament uh, in which I ended up winning. Really? My first year of golf, and I just, wow. yeah, amazing. I won a, a nice hefty chunk of cash, too. It was nice. 30 grand for the first place team, so. Wow. Yeah, that uh, that a really bad introduction to golf. That really hooked me into <laughs> golf. You know, at that point in uh, my life, I was doing a lot of other things, maybe yeah. not so productive. So, golf really uh, really changed changed things for me. That's awesome, man. Give me uh, you know, on Friday night, I could either go out with the boys or I could be up nice and early Saturday morning to hit the be the first man out on the fairway, which is that's right. It's a great feeling. Yeah. So now, when it comes to golf, like I know some guys who are just fanatical about it. Yeah. How many like rounds of golf do you try to get in a day? Are you like, if it's a nice day, you trying to get 18, 36, like what, what are you putting down? Uh, I played as many as three rounds in a day. Really? Yeah. I know, uh, maybe three candidate. Well, I, I've done it lots, but right. one that stands out to me is three candidate days ago yeah. in Darren Green. Uh, I, I, I iced him on, I think the, the first round about the fourth hole and yeah, that was a Messy candidate. <laughs> into that, the, the third round wasn't a good scoring one. No. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I live for it. I can I can golf from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I mean, just a just a good place to go hang out in the sun and yeah, you have everything there at the golf course. They got you know you got refreshment stands everywhere, That's food right. and the every... food is getting better at these golf courses. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. Like uh, the weekend was crazy. I I missed the Mac Island food truck being parked in front of the thing because that, that that thing had some really good food. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, they got some, you know, you used to be able to just get your tuna sandwich, your ham sandwich. Now they got croissants and yeah. all kinds of fancy stuff that, yeah, that's right. there's, there's options now. Yeah, the menu it's is not just a hot dog anymore. That's at the right. That's exactly yeah. it. So now when you're golfing in the season, because I know like this is golf season for you. This is like your primary. This is this is it. This is it. Yeah. Are you prim Are you sticking around Fort McMurray or do you like to go to different golf courses around Canada and or the world or how does uh, golf work for you? You know, if I had unlimited money in my own choices i'd be all over alberta every summer but yeah unfortunately uh i tend not to work a whole lot during the summer that's right the money's tight but uh oh two years ago a guy backed a skid steer into my truck yeah so i ended up collecting four thousand dollars for that yeah didn't fix the truck i took the four grand and i went down to uh, there's courses like uh slave lake offered it was 250 bucks i got two or three nights in a hotel Oh, wow. And the tournament paid for was some food. And yeah, like, it yeah. It was like three rounds of golf. So you go play these men's opens, uh, Westlock, White Court. You know, there's a big group of people from town here that go. Yeah. And they play all these men's opens because they're such a great deal and just a chance to play a different course. That's and right. Nice to play tournament people. golf too and challenge yourself as yeah. well. I wish I could remember the name of this golf course, but years ago I was on a conference and they said, hey, you need to go golfing today. I said, okay, sure, like, whatever, I'll go golfing, no worries. Yeah. And uh, I was in Vancouver, and they put me on a bus. Yeah. And I just figured, like, oh, we'll go to some golf uh, club in, in Vancouver. Yeah. I get on this bus, and there's all these food and drinks, and I'm just like, 
listen, how long could this bus ride be? They're like, oh, it's going to be like an hour plus. Yeah. I'm like, where are you taking me? Yeah. They're like, oh, we're going to Whistler. Ooh. And I was just like, what? And they're like, yeah, get on the bus. Let's go. Yeah. So like, we got on the bus and we made it to Whistler. Man, when I tell you a beautiful golf course. Oh, I bet. Right like in the, the mountains. Yeah, the first hole, it was, and I'm not a good golfer by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. The first hole, it was something like out of a video game where yeah. your tee box is up here. Yeah. But the golf, uh, like the, the hole, and everything was, was down, down here. Yeah, yeah. So you're hitting it and you're just dropping it. So they call that the elevated tee box. Man. Yeah. They actually have some in Alberta. Like uh, even go to Smoky Lake. Right. Nine hole course there. Some elevation, a little bit anyway. Um, yeah. You can find some at, uh, Fort McMurray Golf Club on the Foxtail now. I don't know if you've played uh, their new nine. No, I haven't. But their new nine has, everybody likes to say 16 at Miskinaw is the most scenic, uh, runs right along the river. But the view from the top of, uh, I think it's number four at Foxtail, might be number three. You play this straight uphill. Yeah. It's got to be, I don't know how many feet up, but you get right to the top, but you're basically on the top of Golf Course Hill looking over the river and everything. Yeah. It's nice. And yeah. So once you're done that green, you drive over to the next tee box and it's a elevated tee box. So it's okay. this, and you drive down yeah, yeah, yeah. this big hill, which is nice because you can drive a great big bomb and yeah. it flies a bit further and doesn't roll once it lands. It usually yeah, stops just, where it is, right? Yeah. yeah. So it uh, it adds a different el- element to the game. Like I play Miskinaw a lot and we don't have a lot of elevation there. No. But no. there's a lot of other challenges. Yeah. So. Oh, there's lots of challenges at that. Yeah, every course offers something different. That's why that's the beautiful thing about golf and golf courses. And from the cheapest, most ill-maintained ones, that's just a flat field, mm-hmm. to it's to your most pristine courses with these elevated tee boxes and elevated greens. And yeah, there's a little something on no everyone. Doubt. No yeah. doubt. Okay. Well, we're part of the show now. Where uh, Tanner has his segment. Ooh. I don't know if you've seen the show before. Yep. I know you have. Yep. It's called the Max City Minute. So this is Tanner's segment. He's going to hit you up with some questions. Best of luck to you, my man. Cool. Tanner, you're up. All right. Question number one. If you could golf at one course, what course would that be? Oh, obviously Augusta. Augusta National. Uh, it's home of the Masters. They don't They don't just let anybody golf there. Um, I know a couple of people who have through... Uh, you're having a lot of money, <laughs> I guess, or connections and whatnot. But uh, I guess more realistically, um, one that I will probably play in the future is uh, Cabot Cliffs in uh, Nova Scotia. I just, all our, uh, a lot of our pros up here are from Nova Scotia and keep pumping the place up. That's where they go for the finals at RBC Scramble. Mm. And uh, yeah, I just hear, keep hearing it's number one in Canada, so. Question number two, what is your favorite tournament to play in Fort McMurray? Oh, uh, I'm not going to go too far into the details, but my, my favorite one, hands down, every golfer, every serious golfer's favorite tournament in Fort McMurray is the Fall Classic. Question number three, what is your go-to snack when out on the course? Oh, my go-to snack. Uh, all those cliff bars have been pretty good that... uh. <laughs> Chris McKenzie likes to serve up, but uh, I would have to say probably just the hot dog at the turn. Question number four. <clears throat> what is your bo- best golf moment you remember? Oh, hands down, uh, winning the Fall Classic, my first year golfing. Went to a playoff, so uh, first hole we had about a four-foot four, four foot putt to win $30,000. Me, I got uh, paired up with the club pro that year, Kyle Party, and uh, another guy, Andre Rodriguez, and... Uh, all three of us missed four foot putt, which for me, first year, okay. Second guy, uh, the pro, ugh, yeah, starting to really feel bad. We get to the next hole, and uh, the other one of the teams got eliminated. They were really drunk by the time we got the playoff going and everything. But yeah, get to the second hole. The other team puts it right on the pin. They're tapping, and we're on the other side of the green. And I'll never forget this, the putt Andre Rodriguez made. It was about fifty feet and had about three breaks in it, and he jarred it for. You know, this clutch pressure situation, 100 people standing around watching. And yeah. my first year golf, and I'm shaking like a leaf. And that putt got us to the par five on the next hole for the playoff where we, uh, I think we eagled or birdied it to win it. And that's hands down my favorite moment ever on the golf course. Yeah. I ripped off my shirt and I was running around the green. And <laughs> I, I didn't it. know a lot about the etiquette thing back then or <laughs> didn't really care anyway. I still kind of don't. So, one thing about me, like when I golf, I try to. I don't know. I try to loosen up a bit these days and like music going, you know, and yeah. kind of kind of a little different than the traditional 
what people think about golf and everybody's stuffy and a lot of people get worried about you know keeping pace with the group behind them i think it scares a lot of people away from golf but right yeah it's uh the, the most relaxed place you can be in, in the world i think there you go yeah. <laughs> and your final question how does disc golf compare to regular golf for you i've never tried disc golf i've uh i'm wanting to uh this todd dupont one of my buddies very involved in it he's He's not the guy who runs the uh, Disc Golf Association, but he seems to be like number two. He's yeah. another guy like me who's just passionate about it. He's uh, He keeps a Disc Golf handicap. He he plays in Disc Golf tournaments all over Alberta. Cool. So it's like, uh, yeah, like we got an app for golf to keep our handicap or uh, scores in and everything, and uh, so do they, which is kind of neat. So I'm looking to get out right away, but uh, I don't think anything could ever compare to golf for me. It's just the most beautiful thing in the world. And those have been your five questions. I got a question about this. So this tournament, this fall classic, there's there's big money on the go. Yeah. There's like money's up for grabs here. A bit of money up. Why are people drinking when there's that kind of money up for grabs? <laughs> like I like if I'm uh, coming to the end, then I got I'm like, some hey. horror stories about that, but there's there's been some times like cause part of golf is uh you play the tournament Saturday, you go have some drinks on Saturday That's right. night, usually 100%. The horse races, this type of stuff, and then Sunday morning you gotta wake up and perform and That's right. And, uh, yeah, there's been times where guys haven't shown up the next morning on time. I've been late. I've been, uh, yeah. there's been some horror stories, but for me, like, uh, last year I was broke, man. So I showed up, I was two, two hours early hitting that putting green. That's right. I was looking to make some money and that's right. And I did. So there you, you go. Know, that's you... my thing. Like I am that casual golfer. Like yeah. the best part of golfing to me is the adult beverages. Oh yeah. I yeah. like, I'm the best guy to go golfing with in regards to like, I'm good enough that I can kind of hit the ball. Yeah. I'm positive. I'm gonna pump you up. Yeah. But I'm never gonna beat you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, a, I'm just perfect a good playing time. partner. That's yeah. right. And so I'm like, yeah, let's have some drinks. Let's have some fun with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the whole. A lot of people forget that. A lot of people focus on the scorecard and. Yeah. And I've seen and me myself, I've been guilty of it lots. Getting bent out of shape, getting in arguments with people like. Yeah. yeah. And golf builds a character. It. You know, you argue with your golf buddy. Uh, you're, you could be best friends forever, man. Yeah. And you get out on the really golf chirping. course and frustration you especially the guys who put a lot into it like myself who are there every day and you put and if you don't get out of it sometimes what you put into it it can yeah it can be humiliating it can be and it it brings out man it brings out some emotions and it's 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 just a beautiful thing if i was on if i was playing in this tournament i act and i I, there's no way i would ever do it i'm not i'm not good at all it's handicapped man if there was money on that if there's money on the line listen I'm putting down the adult beverages and I'm like, I'm zoned but in. The thing is the adult beverages can sometimes loosen it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of those nerves. Cause you know, like playing golf is I'm, tr- I'm struggling with it right now. I can go out any day of the week and shoot in the seventies, but yeah. Tournaments, man. It's been, uh, it's been tough for me. I got a question for you in regards yeah. to that. Do you meditate? No, dude, we're going to talk off air about this. Yeah. I think this could really help your golf game. It bro. could. Yeah. I really like, we'll talk. Listen, right. I know Tanner's going to be like, Oh, Gosh, here I go. Here he goes again <laughs> with this meditation nonsense. Yeah, it's a game changer. Oh, for sure. Anyways, I know we have gone off over the time a little bit. That's okay, dude. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for having um, me. I know you had a lot of things to like uh, list off today, and we discussed that before the show. Yeah. But I would definitely love for you to come back again, so you and I can like have a chat, and we can get to know a little bit more about yep. about yourself and about your passion, because it's you're a cool dude. Sweet. So, yep. um, please, please, please. Come back again. Yeah. Man. Anybody who's interested in golf in Fort McMurray too, feel free to hit up the Fort McMurray Golfers Association. All kinds of information on there. Like you can ask any question you want to ask. There we Buy go. Buy clubs, anything you want. Message me if you ever want to get out for a tea time. I'm always around. There you go, man. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo. That's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you're having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I just died at this. That's another Max City Morning Show done. It's so ballistic! Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?